So I've had this Osmo Pocket for about a year now, and although I haven't really used it as much as I thought that I would, it's really, really great for certain things. So I've recently had a couple of friends ask me if they should buy one of these, and I thought that I should just make a video about it, kind of show how I use it and the things that I use with it. Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Brian, and if you're into creating videos and music, then this channel is for you. So make sure that you subscribe if you like what you see and if you want to see more. So let's get into my Osmo Pocket rig. All right, so of course we have the uh, Osmo Pocket, the most important part of the kit and we just have the standard uh, case that comes with it. This case is fine. There's others out there that you know are bigger that hold other accessories attached to it, but this case is fine for me. Uh, another important thing to have is a battery pack because you know the battery really doesn't last forever in this, so if you're doing a time lapse or something like that, it's great to have one of these with a full charge so you can just plug it in, uh, attach it to your tripod, and you know make sure that you have plenty of battery for the entire uh, time lapse that you want to do. Uh, another important thing for um, the time lapses, especially, is uh, these ND filters uh, that I have here. These are the Polar Pro uh, ND filters, and these are really nice. They just, you know, pop out of here like this. You can, you know, they just attach magnetically to this, uh, like all of the filters do for the um, Osmo Pocket. So, but these are great. I've had them in pretty strong winds. They've never blown off. You just gotta make sure that they're very, um, you know, stable as far as that goes. Um, this has, you know, the, the polarizer, the, uh, you know, ND, what, eights or something, all the way up to 64 maybe. So those come in very handy for time lapses and just general outdoor shots. You pretty much need to have those if you're gonna use this outdoor, if you want to, um, you know, not overexpose your shots. Of course, that comes with a very nice little cleaning cloth, very handy. You want to make sure and keep the lens clean. So another accessory that I have and use is this uh, case, this little uh, mount. This will go in here like this and attaches like this. And this is just the standard uh, GoPro type mount. So, you know, obviously there's a ton of things that this fits to, you know, as far as, you know, you can use it as a dash cam. Um, you know, or I use this same piece along with this on a tripod, um, and then I can easily pull it off. I can put it on this ex extending pole. Um, I can uh, attach my phone down here, and then I use this cable to run from my phone up the length to this, and then, you know, you can get some of those long pole shots. Uh, I saw that on um, Make Art Now. Uh, Josh Yo, that was a great tip. I've used that a few times outdoors. Get up into the trees, that type of thing. Uh, it's kind of, you know, a poor man's drone, uh, so to speak. So that's pretty handy. I've seen some other cases like this too um, that have come out since I bought this one that have other attachments for a microphone uh, or something like that. You know, the audio on this is really not great. I believe this is the microphone here. Um, you know, you really want to have the external microphone uh, attachment for this if you're going to use this for audio. I almost always just use something else for audio and just use this for time lapses or, or video. And so that's pretty much the kit. All of this fits easily in my camera bag along with everything else that I have. Um, you know, this oftentimes can just be in my pocket uh, like this. If I'm just going to go out and do a few things, I will just take these two things. Well, that pretty much wraps up my Osmo Pocket kit. I hope that this helps someone. All of the links will be in the description below. Uh, if you find this helpful, please drop a like for the video and make sure you subscribe if you like content like this. And we'll see you next time.